Welcome back to my channel. This is Chidi My Favor. If it's the first time of coming across my channel, thank you so much. Today we are concentrating on the neck area. We are drawing out this queen and neckline. So we are using an anchor fabric and a chantine lace. The chantine lace is just for the detail at the neck area. Okay, without wasting time, let's go into the video. Here we are going to draw out a basic bodice pattern. I don't want this video to be too long. Alright here is the open side and here is the closed edge so i'll go ahead and draw out a basic bodice pattern if you don't know how to do that i have a detailed tutorial on how to draw a basic bodice pattern up on my channel i don't want this video to be over long okay so here i'm just drawing out the nipple to nipple measurement that is bust point to bust point measurement mine is four plus half an inch 4.5 here is chest line bust point on the bust and half length that's just the lines we have here chest line bust point on the bust and half length so i'm going to draw a straight line across we are drawing a bustier here a simple bustier that is what i want to use to achieve this quinal neckline so for the shoulder i'm going to divide what we have here into two okay if you don't know how to draw a bustier, I have it also up on my channel. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do it that again. So what I'm doing here is, I just connect the lines to the center of the line we have on our shoulder. Okay, after dividing our shoulder, the line we have. Now I'm going to the other side, that's my armhole area, the other side, side area. I'm going to mark out... 1.5 then coming inside i'm going to mark quarter of an inch please don't mind my tape we're just taking quarter of an inch on the other side i'm going to mark 1.5 and the side going to my center front i'm marking just half an inch that's 0 0.5 inch and i'm connecting those lines together Please, if you're watching up to this moment, you like what you're seeing, subscribe to our channel, follow us, and give this video a thumbs up if at any point it's useful. Now, from the bust point, we are coming down by one inch. From the bust point, I'm stepping down by one inch. So, with the help of a curve ruler, I'm going to connect these two points together. Alright, if you don't understand what I'm saying, just take a close look at what I'm going to do. With a very nice curve, I'm going to curve it in this way okay and i'll do the same to the other side to my returning subscribers thank you so much i really really appreciate all your efforts on my video god bless you all right now we continue coming to the chest line coming to the chest line you see where i'm touching now the chest line okay we're going to come out by about quarter of an inch again then going to the side seam the side front we are coming out by one inch we are doing this just to tighten the chest area you don't want it saggy after sewing okay you want everything properly relaxed i hope we are going this together i hope you understand just look at what i did by doing this you've not also you've not only tightened your chest area you've also been able to draw your bust cup all right so this is it all right now let's concentrate on the neck area which is the queen and neckline we're talking about so i used three remember for my shoulder i used three now coming to this place i'm coming up by one inch coming up by one inch please i made a mistake here which i'm going to correct immediately okay so sorry for that i'm so sorry for the inconveniences but i noticed i made a little mistake while drawing this line so it was after drawing it i said oh i've made a mistake but you know mistakes are inevitable we are all human but for the depth of my neck i'm going to use seven okay i used seven is a v neckline i used seven that's the depth i used seven okay so i'm just going to go ahead and mark that out all right is a v-neck line like i said before okay here this is where i was supposed to come up by one inch not on the center front 
I hope you understand. That was just a mistake. It was in is your armhole, please. Take a note in your armhole just to tighten that armhole area. Is where you're supposed to come up by one inch, and you're going to draw your line in a slanted form. Okay, your line shouldn't be straight. I hope you get that. That I'm cancelling the first line we drew, and I really apologize for that. Now, from this my neck area, you understand? From this neck area, I'm going to mark a line. You see what I'm doing? I'm coming out by one inch from my shoulder area. For us to get that queen and neckline, from your armhole area, I came out by one inch and I'm connecting it to my three inch. That is where my neck stopped on my shoulder area. That's the width of my neck line. Please, I don't know if I explained this properly. I still apologize for the first mistake made, okay? I'm really sorry about that. If you're watching up to this moment, which means you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to our channel, follow us, give a thumbs up to this video if in any way is helpful. Now, coming to this side, I'm going to step down by 2.5 inches on this line I'm touching. I'm going to step down by 2.5 inches. 2.5 is just perfect now coming to that line down we are coming out by one inch okay coming out here 2.5 and at the downside i came out by just one inch which is perfect okay use one inch is perfect do you understand that's just it then take all your body measurements across body measurements return your that first i'm going to cut out that line you can see we just cut it out okay thank you so much to my returning subscribers we're going to cut everything out we already know how to cut this because i have a detailed tutorial on bustia on my channel all right thank you so much to my returning subscribers i love you i really really appreciate i'm not taking all your effort in my channel for granted now we are cutting out the queen and neckline okay All right, just pay detailed attention on how it's being cut, okay? It's really easy, all right? Like I said, thank you so much to my returning subscribers. You are so amazing. You can see how the neck, the M is, I mean, you can see how the M came out, all right? Thank you so much. Here, I want to draw an arrow on how to, so that I will know how to fix it. For the beginners, please, you can do this. You can label it the way you will not forget. All right, please do that. Okay, that's just all. For the back, is a basic bodice pattern. Just a simple back. We already know how to do that. All right, I have a lot of videos on my channel based on how to draw just a basic bodice pattern. Is up on my channel. You can watch that. Even how to cut a detail bustier is also up on my channel. If you're watching at this point, please is follow. Just press the follow button. If you're watching from my YouTube, just subscribe. It's totally free. Leave your comments on the channel. Thank you so much. Now I've just gone ahead to cut out everything. Let's work on the center. On the neck area that is the neck area here we're working on the neck area the V like shape I'll open it up this way I cut two you can see it's two right right side facing right side I'm using the same fabric as the lining all right that's just it I'm using the same fabric as just the lining I'm going to sew it this way. You see the way I illustrated this and this way. Sew the V area down and sew the side and stop. Okay. After sewing it, this is what we have. Alright, see what we have here. I'll go ahead and show us how to fix fix it together. Alright. How to fix it together. You know the longer part is actually the right side okay so we're going for us to be able to sew it neatly we are going to pin it together put it in between the two fabric for me in between the two ankara okay you saw the way i placed it place it that way and go and sew it i will still do it here for us to see the longer part of the fabric is where it should be you see 
then place the other one please when sewing make sure your your lace for me the lace is at least came down to at least half an inch before you sew it down so that when turning it it's not going to fold i hope you get so go ahead and sew this way this way that's only what you're going to say all right after sewing i ironed it out you can see the way it is this is how to create a queen and neckline all right you see how it is it's so easy and beautiful everything is looking so now want to work on this I see I give a notch so now I want to properly fix this to this so what I'm going to do this is a letter M remember we made this yesterday so I'm going to turn it this is also the midpoint of this go ahead and give it a notch then I will fix it the notch facing the notch the notch facing the notch Go ahead and peel it down. Now remember this is the continuation of our ample, okay? Continuation of the ample. I also make sure that it's properly aligned. Alright, and I'm going to also pin it down. I also do the same to this place. Continuation of our ample. I'm also going to pin it down. So I'll go back to my sewing machine, I'll stitch here, stitch here, stitch here, so that when I turn, it's going to stand out this way. I hope you see. Okay, if you're seeing a bustier like me, after sewing it, this is what it's going to look like. This is exactly what it's going to look like, okay? And then please place it on it this way, right side facing right side. And I'm going to sew across. All right to my returning subscribers i love you and here is the outcome on this clothes this is a client clothes that's why i couldn't wear it it's a client clothes and you can see how beautiful it's looking okay you see how it's looking so beautiful don't mind me don't concentrate on the sleeve just concentrate on the neck all right i really really appreciate all your efforts i cannot emphasize enough on that here is the piece six pieces gown i use it to make a six pieces gown i'm going to upload a video on how to cut a six pieces gown for those that don't know thank you so much and i love you god bless you see you in our next class